I need hold on. Can I do the dance real quick? channel i am jay and if you're new here go ahead and hit the subscribe button because i'm gonna be your favorite new youtuber okay and if you're returning hey my dazzles and my babies my dazzle babies i appreciate you guys so much for coming back and supporting and rocking with me one more time as we all know it is fall it is jaytober i am a libra my birthday was october 3rd today is the fifth honey and so i'm all still in you know, fallish, and I want to go to the Dollar Tree, possibly Target, to get some home decor because I already bought some stuff that I want to show you guys, and I want to like get into the spirit and like decorate my place up because I'm really plain, but I'm feeling you know, fall is my season. I love the fall, so I got dressed. Anthony's at school. I don't have much time, so I'm trying to get this done. You know, just a little quick little vlogtober little vlog for you guys i want to show you my outfit and i'm um, gonna head out i also need to go to the nail shop because i you know i was like i said i was feeling fallish and i got these little brown nails for my birthday but my regular nail tech was not in and baby my whole um gel melted off and this one is bubbling up and i paid too much money and we're gonna get it fixed so let me show you my outfit and then we're gonna head out so yeah i know i'm known for a good two-piece outfit this outfit came from fashion nova i got it on sale so the whole set was like ten dollars and it's easy to put on because you ain't gotta do no fuss you just throw it on and add little accessories to it i have on my um what's this um watch called um is it boulevard Bulova, whatever it is, my little gold, little, little, little something, something. I got this necklace. I picked this up from uh, Ross for a dollar, and I'm not going to ever leave anything behind. I got these cute little earrings right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like a little flower. I got those from Ross for a dollar as well. I got all my little clear little flats. I picked these up from Shein a while ago. I did a haul on that, and I'm going to be wearing... Pulled out a little classic purse here just to bring in some color and it's a fall color. It is my classic little Dooney and Burke purse. Yes, I still wear Dooney and Burke and this is the outfit, this wig. I picked it up from Amazon for like 20 bucks. I know I like a wig on a budget and um, my smell of the day is Dior and I mixed it with Good Girl. Um, that's what I do. I like mixing my stuff. So this is the little look for today. Just simple. I want to be feeling like, you know, welcome into the, um, to the fall. And this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to meet you guys in the car and we're going to head over to Dollar Tree first or maybe the nail shop. We'll see when we get in the car. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay. So I'm back. Um, I'm going to go to like my local Dollar Tree because Anthony gets out of school at 2 o'clock and it's 1246. I have been at home all day just like cleaning up or not really cleaning up but straightening up. And then, like I said, I went to get dressed and then I was on my phone watching YouTube and stuff like that. And the time got away from me, but I knew that I needed to go ahead and get some content out. Uh, if you have not already watched my late my last two videos, I did a um, a shower routine and I did a, D, uh, a DIY um, luxury like kind of pamper yourself video. So if you have not checked those out, please go check those out. But I've been watching a whole bunch of videos on YouTube like um, fall decor and DIY uh, little projects at the Dollar Tree and I was really inspired and I was like you know what I bought a few things from Dee Dee I'm gonna show you guys that as well and then I'll probably make another vlog when I go ahead and like start the decorating process because I need to get a couple little bit more ideas it's not gonna be like super fancy or anything like that but you know just to just to you know just to do just to do something just to be doing something so I'm gonna just I really want to go to this other Dollar Tree but it's on the other side of town and I don't wanna like be running late 
from getting Anthony. His school is like literally five minutes away from the house. And this Dollar Tree is five minutes away from my house. So even if I was to leave out of there like at 150, I would still get to him on time. And I might have to take him with me to Target. Nobody wants to do that. So anyways, and oh, I need to go to the nail shop and get this damn nail fix. So we're going to see. I think it's a glare right there. If so, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not in my um, other car. I pulled my other car out. And so I'm not used to having the mount up on this car. So anyways, you know, I don't want to talk y'all little ears off. Because I know y'all don't like when I talk a lot. Um, y'all like to get straight to it. But it's a vlog. And y'all should know me by now. I like to talk. So let's talk about a few things because I have not seen y'all in like a minute uh, as far as me doing a vlog. It's been a minute. So let me just catch you guys up with some things. As far as my mental health, um, I'm doing a whole lot better. Um, praying definitely helps. I've been praying every day, multiple times a day. I just take a moment to myself and um, I do that because it helps me keep time for myself and just time to talk to God and just reflect on things and you know just pray about things that I want in my life I also do a lot of meditation and manifestation someone told me that you can't pray and, uh, and also meditate like it don't go hand in hand for me I just feel like meditation is like faith and hard work and you're just putting out into the universe or for you know god or whoever your, your your guardian angels whoever to um hear you and guide you and bless you as long as you're doing the work that you're supposed to do too um my grandma always told me if you do have god will meet you the other half and things will happen that way so you know recently i was like struggling with my youtube channel and i was like i don't know what more I can do to get my channel to grow. I don't know what more I can, what more content or what content I'm supposed to be doing. Cause you know, I started off doing wigs. I started off doing, um, then I started doing clothing hauls and then I was doing a little bit of both. And then I started to do a lot of vlogs. And then that's when I saw that my channel was kind of like staggering. Um, because when you start doing several different things people get kind of lost because some people just come because they like your fashion and some people like to do wig reviews but when i started this channel it was um no secret it was a beauty um fashion and vlogs and i kept saying that eventually i was going to start dibbling into um vlogs which i did and i truly enjoy but um i am going to be doing some clothing hauls soon too so you know just bear with me i ordered some stuff and i got some stuff coming okay so also i want to talk to you guys about what i've been watching on netflix honey hold on can i do the dance real quick y'all should know i can't do it in the car like i want to i might do it when i get out the car but have you guys watched the um what's it jeffrey dahmer um series on netflix if you have not watched that series please go make time to do so that series was so can i do a guitar right here i think so um that series had me stuck i watched it i start press play and i watched the whole thing from beginning to end in one day i even was able to have a good conversation like through ig one of my favorite youtubers which is um peyton marie charles shout out to peyton okay she's a real one uh, i'm pretty sure everybody should know her because she has a full lesser of subscribers but jeffrey dahmer oh my god it had me um checking myself because uh, I'm a woman, of course, but I don't always have a woman mindset. I go outside like at two, three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes to go grocery shopping by myself. I go to the store by myself and I don't, I be not absent minded, but I guess a little bit naive to the fact that people don't uh, have the same sanity. And there are people out there that are praying on women and men that they can um, do harm to. It just opened my eyes so much. Oh, I forgot to put my dang on rings on. My fingers is naked. 
not the complete look but um yeah it just opened my eyes so much and i, I don't want to talk about it if y'all haven't seen it but for the ones who have seen it y'all know exactly what i'm talking about um i forget the guy i forget the um guy's name who um who was his last victim that got away and was able to get that monster arrested and it's so sad that we know jeffrey dahmer's name but the guy who stopped him we i can't remember his name and there's no so many like people talking bad about him and making tiktoks about him you know um i'm not bringing jeffrey dahmer up like as like uh to um make him a celebrity he's already that you know he had fans and all that if you watch the documentary you know he had fans and people sending him money even after the crime i want to just talk about awareness and just be um mindful that there's crazy people in the world and just watch what you're doing don't trust everybody we don't live in a time where we need to be trusting um strangers like that you know if you we got cell phones so if your phone if your car don't start call somebody that you know sit in your car call roadside assistant if you don't got the money call call your mom your daddy your sister your uncle the neighbor uh call your kids friend mom but do not trust a stranger people are just dangerous out here so definitely wanted to talk about about that yeah okay so yeah i know i'll keep talking i mean it's a dollar tree it's one o'clock so i want to go in there really quickly see what i can pick up show y'all what they have in there and we're gonna get out of here see what time it is from there and then i gotta go pick up anthony um i really want to do some more errands so i might have to take him with me y'all haven't seen little buddy in a minute so i might have to just roll with him while i'm, I'm out i don't want to just not get everything done so Dang, there's so much I want to talk to you guys about. Mm, okay, um, we're going to just make this a, a spend the day with me or spend the afternoon with me because the day has already started. Um, I was also like watching like um, The Shade Room and I am an 80s baby. Um, I think I already mentioned that my birthday was just this Monday, October 3rd. Shout out to everybody who gave me like birthday wishes on my birthday, whether it's through YouTube, whether it's through um, uh, Facebook, IG, TikTok. Thank you guys so much. The love is reciprocated and appreciated so very much. But I was on, um, you know, I was born, like I said, I'm, a, I'm an 80s baby. And growing up, I used to watch like shows like Moesha, uh, The Parkers. And one of my favorite shows was Sister, Sister. I am a huge fan of Tia Mari. I like Tamara too, but Tia for me was more relatable to me. And I just saw that she had put that um, her and her husband is getting a divorce. And... It was just some things that she said that resonated with me. Um, you know, I'm enough. I desire to be loved the way I want to be loved. And uh, people should love you exactly for who you are and not for what they want you to be. So I'm in a transition in my life as well. Or I was in a transition in my life. And, you know, anyways, it was just sad for me to have to see her. Um hear that news they've been together for 14 years but we don't know the situation and we don't know why they're getting divorced but what i will say is if you're not happy in a situation don't stay in a situation because you're afraid to get out of it you're afraid to be single you're afraid to raise these kids by yourself you're afraid that you're going to struggle um because um, when one door closes, a window opens and you climb through that window and you go through that window and then you find a door and you open another door for yourself. You are born in this world by yourself. So God has made us more than capable to do anything and everything that we need to do for ourselves and by ourselves. Companionship is great. Another income is great. But go back to school, find a job. I know it sounds easier to do, but it is possible. I went back to nursing school as a single mom and I had uh, a village, you know, I had people to help me with my with Tyler. At the, at the time, Tyler was like nine or 10. And um, 
they would watch him. They would pick him up for me. I was in um, like a relationship. So the person I was in a relationship with, they would uh, go pick Tyler up for me from my mom's house and bring him home. But I, but I was basically a single parent and I wanted, I knew that I needed to do something. And I had got out of a really bad abusive relationship and I was scared to go out there and venture out and do what I'm supposed to do. But God's will, God's way, my hard work, and I did it and here I am today. So let's go ahead and hop into Dollar Tree because I've been talking to y'all for a minute and Lord, I gotta edit all this and I just don't wanna bore y'all. All right, I'll meet y'all inside. It's now one o'clock, I'll meet y'all inside. Yeah. I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, break a nigga in the pieces Had to ex some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little ass clothes only fit fake booties Bad bitch, still talking cash shit Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing I would never trip on a nigga if I had him Bitch, that's my trash, you the gay, so you bad I'm a savage Classy, bougie, gadget everybody else be going to they be doing all these cute little diys but when i come in here i don't see none of the stuff that everybody be doing i need to contact some of these other youtubers like um is there a certain day i should be going on all right i'll be back oh child i'm tired okay i finally made it back home i picked anthony up from school i went and got my nails fixed um but I didn't uh, want it. Ooh, sorry. I didn't want to end the vlog without showing you guys some of the stuff I picked up. I'm running a little behind on time because I'm going to pole class. So let me show you guys what I picked up. Some of the stuff. And then um, I'm probably going to do another vlog um, showing you how I decorated my place. Okay? So let me show you what I got. So these are from all different stores. Uh, this is basically supposed to be like a um, Dollar Tree um, vlog, but I'm just gonna show y'all everything I got from all the different stores. So I thought these were so cute. I picked these up from Dee Dee's. They were $4.99. They're really good. You get two. And that's cause I didn't know what color scheme I was gonna go for in my kitchen, but I went to the Dollar Tree and I changed my mind. But I also picked up some pillows 
from Dee Dee's <clears throat> discount. If you have one, then you know they are the sister store to Ross. So I wanted to bring some fall colors into my house. So I picked up this reversible fur throw. It's supposed to be like luxurious. So it's really pretty. It's definitely fall color. And I did like that it's reversible and it feels really good. And I got this for, actually it says $2.99, but when it got to the register, it rang up for $6.99. So very happy about that. And then I just picked up these pillows to bring out that color. And I like that it has blue because my couch has some blue pillows on there. So I can kind of play around with it a little bit. It just says a welcome home. And then I got this one. I really like this one a lot. It says grateful, thankful, and blessed. Anybody that knows me, I'm always saying I'm thankful and grateful. So really like this pillow a lot. And these pillows were marked down. They were $16 and then I got them for $7.99. Both of the pillows like I just showed you. If you ask for Anthony, that is him in the background, okay? So the Dollar Tree, I got these to put out in front of my front door. I had to get two. I was going to get one. The little witch legs. I'm going to put them in my little pottery in front of my door. I thought these were really cute for Halloween. Uh, yeah. I don't really practice Halloween, but I have a baby, so he sees the neighbors with stuff. So. Then I picked up some little stuff for my kitchen. So I showed you guys some other tiles, and then I saw this with this black and white and then I saw this and I was like oh I could put this in my kitchen and make something work with that and then I have this stand in my kitchen that has a gold plate so I figured I could get this and you know play around with that for those colors because I didn't want everything like in orange and then I got this vase so let me tell you about that vase I saw that vase on at Target, I saw a lot of people at Target getting these vases, um, and they were like 20 something, 40 something dollars. I refused to get that just for the season, okay? So I got mine from the, uh, the Dollar Tree. And the idea that I had behind that, I will show you guys a little bit, but like I said, I'm gonna make another video showing you guys how I'm going to decorate my my house but i did pick up these little flowers i guess you want to call it um i don't like flowers that look cheap when i get flowers usually my mom buys them for me or gives them gives them to me from like hobby lobby or something like that so i try to make sure they don't look too cheap so i'm gonna cut this off of course but what I was seeing people do, they was getting these in white and they was putting them in this vase like this, you know, cause it's like a folly color, but I'm gonna add these in with mine to like give it a little dazzle, little dazzle. So once I put it together, y'all will see. Like, I feel like that's gonna be cute. And I'm gonna probably put this on my table right here. And then I picked up this tray y'all probably saw me in the video picking that up because i'm going to, oh and also i'm all over the place so this i'm gonna put probably like in here too like i feel like i have a vision and hopefully it's gonna come together um i got these little pumpkins from walmart these are like real real pumpkins from um walmart i got three of these for like three dollars so my thing was I was gonna get this little tray and then I was gonna set these in here and then put them on my coffee table like I was gonna decorate, like, you know, set them up really pretty and I was gonna put that on my table. And alongside that, I was just picking up some other stuff too, so I'm not really sure, but I did pick up this. I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate it yet, but I did pick that up too. And I also picked up, these, I picked up some jars from my bathroom, but I picked this up and I thought this was cute because um, some of the stuff is like black and I wanted to like bring some like a different color in there. So I think I'll put this on my coffee table with a little tea. Um, 
Polo tea candle. And I think that would be so pretty to have her on the table with all the fall decorations. So, I think that's it. Well, I mean, for the most part, I gotta do like some DIYs. So, I got this to go in my kitchen as well to go with the black and white theme, but I'm thinking I'm gonna take this off and fill it up with something else um, to bring out some color. I don't really like the uh, the sticker. I'm not really sure. I might leave it on, I may not. So I got a vinegar and an oil one, just like this. And I saw this girl do like some DIYs on her channel and she took a beat, some bowls, or yeah, some bowls like this. And then she glued a marble on top and then she spray painted to match her bathroom. My bathroom is um, already this color, my guest bathroom. So I'm gonna just fill these up with like cotton balls and like cotton swabs. And I'm gonna set them on a tray and then put them in the guest bathroom. I think that'll be really cute and really chic. I bought two of those. Here's the other one right here. I don't know what I do with the lid, but it can't be too far. So those are all the things I picked up today um, from the Dollar Tree. And I got the other stuff um, from Dee Dee's the other day. So, hope y'all come back so y'all can see how I decorate my house and get my house feeling really like fallish because it is fall. So, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below. Again, if you're new here, I'm your favorite new YouTuber. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And uh, I'm about to head out to pole class. So, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. The next time, y'all know how I do. Bye, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh,